Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how the beginner method to solving a Rubik's cube if you never solved one. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is uh, just remember, memorize some algorithms and uh, just use those algorithms. And you just gotta know your situation and which where which pieces go. So first, we're just gonna start with the basics. So the pieces they have two colors so this one has yellow and red those are called edge pieces the pieces in the middle of each color those are called centers and then these on the sides here they have three colors three are corners so and basically you just have to learn these algorithms here. So I'll just teach you the algorithm before we even start. So the first algorithm, you're gonna go up with your right hand. Hold on. Up, over, down, over. That's the first algorithm. This is called the righty algorithm. And if you're doing it right, if you do it enough times, it'll come back to being a soft cube. And then next is a lefty algorithm. So you just do the same thing with your left hand up over down way up it's up over down over up over down over yeah and if you do that enough times they'll come back but anyway yeah i'm just gonna scramble this one because i'm not gonna keep doing left hand algorithm it's kind of annoying to do you know you will only have to do it a few times so So, your cube, just scramble your cube real quick, and, uh, so, you're going to start off with the white, you always want the white to start on top, so keep that on the top, and look around on the bottom for edges that are white, that have white on them, such as this one, so this one has orange on it, here, this edge has orange on it, so we're going to line it up with the orange center, which it already is, and then we're going to flip it up to the top where it's a part of where this is called the white cross sorry so we're going to flip it up to where it's a piece of the white cross and there's no or actually there are so this might happen so this one has a white edge and it has red on it so we're going to move it to where it's lined up with the red uh center and then since it's uh since these so we're going to flip it up to the top first and these two pieces need to be flipped what we do is we bring it to the side, bring it to the side, move this over, bring it up, and then move it back where it was. So this one's right, and this one's right. So now, there's another piece on the bottom, it's another flip piece. We're going to line it up with the green center. Going to go up to the side, over, up, over. Now that one's in place. And they're all lined up at the center. Should be one more. And if there's no more on the bottom, they might be in the middle here. So like this one, this one's in the middle. It's it's already technically, like if I put it into the bottom, it would already be with the right center. So we're going to put it back up to the middle. And then we're going to do, we're going to move this to where it wouldn't mess up any of the other pieces. Put this up and then move it back to where all the pieces are lined up. So now we've solved the white cross. You can see all of the pieces, all the edges are lined up with the centers. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this cross to the bottom. And then we're gonna look, we're gonna solve the white corners. So look on the top layer for white corners, such as this one. This one's white, it has white on it. It has green and it has orange on it. So we're gonna put it in between the green and orange center. So the green and orange centers. It's right here. And then the sticker is facing the right side. So we're going to do a right handed algorithm up, over, down, over. And now this corner is solved. Now we're going to look again for pieces that are in the top. This one's in the top, and it's in between the correct centers already. 
so green or not green blue and red and it's blue it has blue and red on it so it's on the right as well so we're gonna put it on the right and we're gonna do a one two three four right handed algorithm okay and then this one is uh, in between it, this one's correct because it is orange and blue we're gonna put it in between the orange and blue centers and the white is on top this time. So I'm going to teach you a little trick that most people don't teach you in the tutorials. Uh, you would you would do, other people would teach you to do the right hand algorithm five times. to Actually not five times, three times to solve it. But there's a quicker way. So you know how you do up first in the right hand algorithm? You're going to go up, over, over down over and then just do another regular right hand algorithm and that's quicker than doing the four right hand algorithms if you want to do that and then if there's no more white in the top and you have one corner left it might be down it might be stuck down here which it is so just do a one two three four right handed algorithm and then it's on the top and it's in between the correct centers so we're just going to do the one two two three four one two three four and then the corner solved. So we have solved the bottom layer. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the middle layer. So the top center is yellow. So we're going to line up. the. So we're going to look for edge pieces that don't have yellow. Such as this one. This one is blue and red. So we're going to line this piece up with the correct center. Okay. So it's blue. It's lined up with the red center. This side's green. This side's blue. We're going to move it away from the blue. And then we're going to, since we moved it to the left, or to the right, we're going to do a left-handed algorithm. So up, over, down, over. Turn it, do one, two, three, four. And then that edge is solved. Right-handed algorithm. So left-handed and then right-handed. But that's not always the case. So... Sometimes it would be the other way. Like sometimes you would have to move it to the left, do a right hand algorithm, then turn it and do a left hand algorithm. But that case we didn't have to. Let's do another one. So this one is blue and orange. Lined it up with the blue because the blue is on the bottom. Blue's on the bottom is lined up at the center. Tops uh orange, so this side is red, this side is orange. So we're gonna move it away from the orange. Then this time we're gonna do a left handed like we did last time. You see how the white sticker is facing this way? We're just going to turn it and just do the right hand algorithm. And now that piece is solved. There's another one. It's already lined up with its center. Move it away from the orange center. One, two. This is right handed and then left handed. Okay. Now I think we have solved. Yeah, we've solved the middle layer now. Now for. This is. Probably the toughest layer. So, you're either going to start out with a dot, which is just going to be the center. Start with the L, which we have, like an L shape, which we started at, out with. Okay. And then we have, or you would have a straight line. A straight line. Or it could already be solved and you'd be done with this step. But since it is. Oh, L shape. Some people don't. So you, some people don't. Some people teach you to put it like in the top left, and turn this and do one, two, three, four, right handed. Put it back, and it'd be solved. But it's actually, and then you would get the line. You don't. It wouldn't be solved if you would have did like put it in the top left, and then did, and then turned it and then did the right handed algorithm. It would actually turn out to be a line, and then you would have to do it again to, for it to be solved. But there's a shortcut, and I'm going to teach it to you. So you're going to put it on the bottom right. This is my right hand. So you're going to put it on the bottom right. You're going to double, double layer flip. Double layer. So these whites should be sticking up. And then you're going to do a right-handed algorithm. One, two, three, four. And then undo that double layer front move and then you have the white cross here or the yellow cross 
Okay, so now we're going to look and see the edges all lined up. This one's not lined up because it's not with the blue center. This one's not lined up because it's not with the orange center. This one is lined up because it's with the red. This one's with the green. You're either going to have one. Well, actually, you're either going to have two or all four of them done. I have two. So, if you have two, you're going to put the green or one of them on the back and one of them on the right side. So, and then hold it like I am. Like, this side's soft, so I'm going to hold it like this, and then this side's on the back. So, you're going to do one, two, three, four. Uh, I forgot how to do this. Oh, I didn't know we don't do that. Okay. Hold on. I gotta fix this real quick. <laughs> so, might mess it up, but it's fine. Okay, let me just do this real quick because I messed it up. There's a different algorithm that you have to do. Okay, so this one's solved, the orange is solved, and the green is solved. So I'm going to hold one to the right and hold one to the back. You're going to do up, over, yeah, you're going to up, over, down, over, up, over, over, down, over. And then the uh, they're all going to be solved. Oh, sorry, I was holding it way too far out. But they're all solved now. The last part is the corners. So this corner is not in the right spot uh, because it's not in between a red center or a uh, blue center. It's in between the yellow, but this one is not correct because it's not in between a orange center. This one's not correct because it's not in between a green center. And this one is correct because it's in between blue, orange, and yellow. So we're going to hold this one. This, the correct one. It might not look correct because it's not solved yet, but it is correct. It's in the correct spot. So we're going to hold this one to the right and then we're going to do over, up, over, up, over, down, over, down. You can pause the video if you want to, but that's the algorithm. And you might have to do it again. But my case, one, this one's solved, this one's solved, I think. Yep, this one's solved, this one's solved, and this one's solved. They're all solved. Well, they're not all solved, but they're all in the correct spot. So, what you want to do is you want to flip it over, and we're going to solve the corners one by one. So, we're going to start off with this corner. We're going to hold it to the right. Hold it to the right. Okay. And then do one, two, three. Three, four. If it's not solved, keep doing it until you see that yellow. Put it down. Okay, and then move. You cannot like just rotate the cube. You have to move the bottom because that'll mess up the whole cube. And then once this piece is here, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now that piece is solved. Move it over. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then move the bottom. There you go. Keep it soft. So, if you need to rewind it or need it to be slower or anything, or you have any questions about anything that I missed, comment down below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And I'm also going to do a review on this next cube that. I used in this video. Actually, really cheap cube. Really, very, very cheap cube. Got it at Walmart. But it's very cheap, very quick. It is a speed cube, but it's called the Next Cube by uh, Moyo. So it's actually really good Moyo so so far. It's not broke. It has kind of broke, but it's because I dropped it. Some of the quarters kind of fell apart, but I put them back together, and they're fine. But 
it's still really fast and really flexible for and these are actually cheaper than the regular Rubik's Cube if you didn't know the regular Rubik's Cubes are ten dollars plus tax and then these cubes are eight dollars plus tax and it comes with a little stand which I don't really care about and then obviously you might have to lube it after some time but that's my beginner method on how to solve a Rubik's Cube uh, I know the camera quality wasn't that good, and uh, if you're stuck on something, please, um, if you're one of my friends and you know me personally, call me, and I'll, like, go over it with you, but if you're not, just comment it down below, and then I'll make another video going over the things that I missed, so I'll see you guys on the next video.